Hello everyone and welcome to your reading of the Rose Tarical. My name is Rose and today we'll be doing a reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer for the month of May 2022. During this reading please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading it may not resonate with you 100% okay. If that's the case, please take a look at your moon, rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message Spirit is guiding you towards. If you wish to contact me, all my details are in the description box below. Now, before we start, I would like to thank God, Source, the Universe, all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light for guiding me to share my gifts with you all. If you like your readings, please like, share and subscribe to this channel, darlings. So Cancer, let's get started. I've meditated over your cards, shuffled your cards and prayed over them. Now, let's take a reading. Right, so let's start. For those of you who are not aware of this new format, I'll be doing the first part of the reading on YouTube and the second part of the reading will be in the extended and the link will be in the description below. It will lead you to my website wherein you can purchase this extended reading. Yes, and also you have the choice of joining the YouTube membership program on my channel and you will find all the extendeds in that area as well okay you please be very careful while booking your extended only book your extended if the first half of the reading resonates with you okay You can also book your extended if you just like, enjoy, if you just enjoy <laughs> watching the complete tarot of this extent of this sign, which is Cancer. Now, because I do have tarot enthusiasts who love to buy the videos, and they do so because I ask to email one of the uh, person she has bought all the videos that I put up so far and I asked her why um, what's your sign and uh, you know I had a bit of a conversation she said no, she just likes watching it <laughs> and she can't stop watching it until she s sees the whole video <laughs> okay if that's the case you can do that as well as long as it's not affecting you personally and you just enjoy listening to the video and listening to where the story goes okay so my darlings let's take a look at the first half of the reading mm. so cancer Coming into your reading, before that, we will look at your past, yes? Your reading, where it's coming from. Where are you coming from? So, Cancer, I can see over here, you're not able to move on from a situation. Yes, from a relationship. Yes, that was... Um, not equal. Yes. Yeah. There was not much equal give and take in this relationship. So you've been holding on to it for quite a while. Okay. You've been perhaps pursuing this person. Yes. Letting them know about your intentions. But 
you've not been getting the same kind of reciprocity from this person. Yeah. I feel one person is holding back, one person was holding back and the other person was kind of just giving, giving, giving. So there was no equal give and take in this relationship. But nonetheless, I can see here, you're not able to move on from this relationship either because you may have fully invested your time and love in this relationship and you're kind of bound to it, yes? So you're feeling a bit tied up uh, and you're feeling clueless, basically. <laughs> you're feeling a bit clueless as to what's your next step, what you need to do in order to make this relationship work. Now, let's see if it is worth working on. There could be also uh, been a time when there could have been a bit of a separation in this relationship also, wherein there was, um, where other people got involved in this relationship and it caused more of a drift than it did anything good. Yes? Let's see. So what is your current energy of this really? What is your current energy? Your current energy is that of working on, there's something that you're working on. Yes, I think you're working on uncovering the truth. You're working on um, something here that will give you a bit of clarity. So some of you could perhaps be watching a lot of tarot videos, trying to get a clue, trying, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just do one thing book a personal reading so that we can do a bit of investigation as to what's going on if that's the case yes but most of you I can see here you're working on uh, your money yes perhaps this relationship had uh, brought in a lot of imbalances in your relationship I mean in your finances and uh, now you're trying to make uh, bring your finance financial situation back in order Sorry, I'm looking at the other cards and I'm getting confused. Okay. I'm not getting confused. I mean to say my words are not coming out the right way. Hold on. So, what I can see happening here clearly is that you're working on uncovering something over here. You're working on uh, trying to understand what the other person is doing. You're trying to uh, look into what the other person is doing. You want to know their next move. You want to know uh, if they'll come towards you, yes? But at the same time, you're working on yourself as well. You're working on getting your finances in order. You're working on your career growth. You're working on a new business idea. You're working on yourself, yes, overall. But whatever it is, you're moving. There is movement. There you're mov there's movement in your life. So you're moving forward. So, you're a bit conflicted though. At times you're a bit conflicted what you want. Do you want this person back in your life? Do you not want this person back in your life? Sometimes when you feel as if you're lo losing them, you're thinking perhaps maybe they, uh, you know, not thinking maybe, you want them, but at the same time, you don't know how to get them. They're confusing you in some way, shape, form or the other. You're having inner conflicts as well because there may have been something that may have gone down in the past, something that you cannot forgive, something that's unclear. You've not received the closure you need from this person, yes? And that's what's, that's the thing that keeps drawing you back to this person. That's what keeps you drawing uh, yourself into this person, yes? Because they held a lot of secrets from you. They spoke a lot of lies and they held a lot of secrets from you. So your current energy is that of uncovering the truth so you can give yourself closure, okay? Now, let's see what's the relationship's current energy. There's a lot of holding back. Yes, there are things that's coming to the surface. There's unfinished business definitely over here, but things are going to be moving forward anyways. Things are going to change, yes? So the current energy of the relationship is very cold, but you will be enlightened to the fact of a lot of things here that has happened in the past. So you, if you were digging for information, you're going to find that information. If you were digging for the truth, you're going to find that truth, yes? You have been, I can see over here, this relationship has been ignored completely. It's not been handled or managed the way it should have to keep the passion going, to keep the love in the relationship. So one or both parties over here, I can see, abandoned the relationship. 
This relationship caused a lot of abandonment issues to come to the surface in both parties. I can see over here clearly if there were any sneaky business that may have taken place in the past. That's also been uncovered and has come to light. Now, there's a lot of unfinished business. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of pain and there's lots of unfinished business that you're baggage that you're carrying forward with you, knowingly or unknowingly, yes? And for that to change, yes, things need to come full cycle. There needs to be communication that needs to be opened up. You'll need to talk about these issues. You'll need to make things clear to each other, whether you'll want to be with each other or you'll want to separate and go your separate ways. Make it clear. Don't leave the other person guessing. It doesn't serve anyone any good, yes? So karma is real. It's a karmic cycle. It's a very karmic relationship over here. And uh, you need to kind of work on yourself first before you can look forward to working on this relationship. Because right now, this relationship looks like to be a complete mess. Yes? So what is the root cause of the split and of this discord? The root cause is that uh, there was, um, I think your person was very arrogant, very stubborn, very egotistical, yes. They always wanted to be in control of you and uh, your money and your everything, your mind, body and soul. So they were quite the control freak, yes, because they had no control over their own life. So they decided to control you, for example, yes, because they felt you are theirs and you're their possession. You know, and then he, this made you feel very uncomfortable and this also created some kind of trauma bond that you may have now because you can't, you are not, you cannot find the right way to detach from this person energetically. So this person was quite the controlling factor in your life. So what I can see here clearly, you're coming out of this relationship, you're coming out of the situation wherein you were done wrong completely. And because this person had so much control over you, they thought they could do what they want, when they want, how they want yeah, in their lives. But you couldn't do what you wanted because they would tell you exactly what they did not like. So they would want you to impress them all the time Well, while they went around vagabounding and doing whatever bullshit they want to. Okay, you... The, this, the split happened when you decided to let go of all this, um, you let go of this relationship, yeah? So there may, may have been a fight, there may have been a, um, you may have challenged this person that you're not going to accept this kind of a behavior anymore and that uh, you want to move away. Either they change and be normal or they just piss off. You must have literally said that. <laughs> You may have literally said that, you may have told them to piss off if they can't behave normally in the relationship because you're done sacrificing so much for them. You've invested so much time, energy and effort into this relationship and all they've done is try and control you and tell you what to do and this and that. You are very much capable of doing your own thing. You're very much capable of making your own decisions. But that luxury was taken away from you you know it turned out to be a luxury <laughs> not a necessity so that was taken away from you and you could not handle it anymore because you felt stifled in this relationship okay you're a very giving person you're a very loving person but there is only so much you can take yes if you meet the wrong person like this now this person uh, there is potential for success in this relationship if the person changes and they, and you change in a way where you are in control of your own life, okay? Where you're able to set healthy boundaries, not set boundaries and walls that are like 100 foot tall, yes? Where you set healthy boundaries, where you make your intentions known and make sure that this person doesn't cross those boundaries, okay? So... There is potential for success in this relationship as long as you let the past hurt go. As long as there's closure on the past between you both. As long as that karmic cycle is closed. So that y'all can start afresh again. So that y'all can uh, look at each other for where you are. For the way you are. And accept each other for the way you are. Yes. I can see over here you're quite enchanted by life. Um, 
you're thinking about life in a very different way, from a different point of view. Yes, you're thinking about the miracles and the fascination of um, living on the, in this dimension, and at the same time, you're exploring, um, probably you're exploring spirituality as well. Okay, some of you are going into divination. Some of you are under, trying to understand what is this world about. What is the purpose of living on this earth, you know, and all those deep questions that you have within you, you're starting to research and starting to uncover, yes, some of you are taking up reading, some of you are taking up exploring, just exploring yourself by going on trips and um, it need not be a trip into another country, uh, it just could be a trip up the mountain, uh, a trip out into the nature, into the forest, where you can ti spend time with yourself, uh, spend time with the sounds of nature, you know, and really uh, soaking in those raw energies, yes, and it kind of gives you a boost. You're so enchanted with everything. So if you've seen a leaf on a tree on a normal day and it just looked like a leaf, now it doesn't look like a leaf anymore. It looks beautiful. It looks as though um, it's so fascinating, it's mesmerizing because why? Because your consciousness has expanded and you're looking at things from a different point of view. You know what I mean? It's time for you, it's time for a change to happen in your life, darlings. It's time uh, for you to acknowledge your strength, yes, and your resilience in this lifetime. Yes, you are able to pull through different situations, even though you're so nurturing, you're so loving, you're so kind. You are able to prove to your kindness, yes, is your good karma, and it pulls you through different situations. Okay, it's time to forgive your past. It's time to, to learn from what you have uh, gone through in the past. Everything is a lesson to be learned, darling, and it's to expand your growth. Yes, you always grow from... Uh, learning from your experiences okay you never you never stay standard you always grow you always learn something new yeah in every relationship yes whether it's a good relationship or a bad relationship that you've been in the experience always promises growth okay if it doesn't promise anything else it's always promises self-growth and you always always learn from your relationships whether it's good or whether it's bad okay you there's not one single person on this earth who can say they never learned something okay from a relationship that did not work out there's always 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 something to learn about yourself about the reason why you went through it which could be revealed later on yeah and etc uh, etc et and so on and so forth it goes so as you release and heal the past, darlings, you experience more love in your present moments. So there you go. So as you release whatever happened in the past and whatever closure you didn't get, once you close that karmic cycle and you invite love into yourself, uh, into your life, the angel of love is here to protect you and give you the nourishment you require for your soul and your soul's growth. Yes, you see, you will attract new things, you will attract uh, people around you that will vibe on your level, yes, of uh, vibration. So energy is going to be lifting up if you are feeling down and out previously. I can see clearly over here you will uh, be in a very happy um, energy mode. You'll be lifted, feeling uplifted and you will be kind of like a beacon of light for the people around you. So, in your extended reading, we're going to see what are their feelings for you right now, which is the Ten of Cups. What are their intentions towards you right now, which is the uh, Nine of Wands. What is the future of this relationship, which is the Seven of Wands. What is the best step for you to take forward moving towards the future, which is the card of the Devil. Your overall energy is the world. So a lot of karmic cycles have been closed out now. It is up to you how you go through it. So we will take a look a bit further in the extended as to how your reading pans out. Now, before you leave, I will pull out some initials and zodiacs for you so that you 
have a preview and get to know if this reading resonates with you in some way, shape, form or the other. And let's take a look at the initials that comes out for you that could perhaps resonate with you. You received F, B, X. One, two, three. This is for the extended. Now let's pick up the zodiacs and see what pops up for you in terms of the zodiacs. How many cards have received? Received Capricorn. Received Leo. Gemini okay and then we'll pull out three cards which will be there for the extended reading also we will pull out the cards now for the extended some lovely energy oracle cards and then we will take a look from there all right darlings for those of you who will be leaving me here and will decide not to join me on the extended because it's, uh, you feel perhaps you've got the messages you need already. Um, I thank you so much for tuning in and for the ones who are going to join me on the extended, I will see you there. And overall for all my viewers and subscribers, I thank you so much for being on this journey with me at the Rose Taracle. Until we meet again the next time, darlings, I love you, take care and God bless.